pequeño, pequeño, mediano, grande, mediano, mediano, pequeño. Oh, hi guys! I'm so happy to see you, my little rock explorers. Thanks for joining me today. I was just sorting some rocks. Pequeño, mediano y grande. Little, medium, and big. So I was just having some fun doing that. You will never believe the cool rocks I have found. I can't wait to share them with you. I have been learning a lot about rocks that I want to share with you. And I am wanting to start by reading a story to you that will tell you a little bit more about igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. There are three kinds of rocks that we're going to talk about. So we're going to read this story together so we can learn a little bit more about rocks. Here we go. It's called Rocks, Hard, Soft, Smooth, and Rough. The story of rocks. See the rock at your feet? Pick it up. Hold it in your hands. Is it smooth? Is it sparkly? Is it soft and sandy? Is it marked with the shape of a shell? Look closely at a rock and you can learn its story. A lot of things can happen to rocks. They can crack, they can break into a million tiny little pieces. They can be pressed and squeezed together. Rocks can even melt. What? Pools of hot melted rock hide deep inside of the earth. Fun fact, the ground underneath oceans and fields and beaches and forests is rock. You might see specks or larger stripes or different colors in your rock. These specks and stripes are different kinds of minerals. Minerals are the basic building blocks of rocks. Rubies and diamonds are minerals. People carve them into gems that sparkle, into necklaces and rings. Fun fact, diamonds are the hardest natural things in the world. Diamonds are so strong, they can even cut through steel metal. All right, here's the part I really want you to turn your thinking brains on for. Rock type number one, igneous rocks. Rocks form in three different ways. The first way is melted rock bubbles up from inside the earth, and then it comes out as what? Do you remember what this is called? That's right, it's called lava. It cools down and it becomes igneous rock. So when lava comes out, it cools down and hardens and becomes a rock. That's igneous rock. Can you say igneous? Igneous. If your rock looks like black glass, it may be obsidian. Obsidian is a type of igneous rock that's bubbled up from inside the earth and cooled off above the ground. Rough freckled granite is an igneous rock that's cooled under the ground. So if this lava was here and it only got to here and then it got turned into hard rock, it might be granite. But if it came all the way out and cooled off, then it might be become an obsidian. And those are all types of igneous rock. That's the first kind. Sedimentary rocks. Rocks also form when sand and other natural things like shells and leaves and mud are squeezed together and they turn hard. The second kind of rock is called sedimentary rock. Can you say sedimentary rock? Sedimentary rock, that's right. These rocks are a little softer than igneous rocks, so they're not as strong as an igneous rock. The stuff that, that cools from, from magma, from lava, that is much stronger than, than sedimentary rocks. Plants and animals and shells and sand and chips of other rocks pile up on the bottom of the oceans and they make all these different layers. And the mixture is called sediment. And as the mixture piles up, it gets really heavy and then it gets smashed and squeezed together and it turns harder and harder and turn, until it turns into a sedimentary rock. And this rock can take millions of years to form. It takes a long time for it to get heavy enough and smashed enough together to turn into a rock. If you see grains of crumbly sand in your rock, it might be sandstone. 
Dull and gray sandstone is a sedimentary rock made of sand. It can be red or brown or green or yellow. If you see squiggles and bumps from like little shells or skeletons in your rock, it might be limestone. Limestone, another sedimentary rock, is made of shells from ocean animals that lived a long time ago. Some sedimentary rocks tell stories about the past. Stories of forgotten forests and vanished seas. They tell tales of creatures that swim and slithered and crept. Fossils are made from plants and animals that died thousands or even millions of years ago. The plants and animals become buried in layers of sediment. So they die and then sand goes over it and dirt goes over it and other shells go over it and they get buried over time. Over time, they turn into rock. All right, here comes the third type of rock. So we learned about igneous rock and sedimentary rock. Now we're gonna learn about metamorphic rocks. The third kind of rock is made from other rocks. What? Heat and pressure deep inside the earth can change rocks from one kind of a rock into another kind of a rock. After time, the heat and pressure can even turn a metamorphic rock into a different metamorphic rock. That's crazy. If your rock is hard, and full of swirls, it might be marble. Marble is a metamorphic rock made from limestone that cooked inside the earth. So remember, limestone was a whole bunch of shells and skeletons that piled up on one another and they got smashed into a rock. If it gets smashed and smashed and smashed for millions of years, it turns into marble, a different kind of rock. And that's a metamorphic rock, a rock that changes into a different kind of rock. Rocks are all around you. Rocks lie at your feet or sit silently by the river's edge. Rocks are make, make a giant cliff or a magnificent building or a grand sculpture. Rocks hang around your neck and sparkle on your fingers. Look closely at them. What stories do the rocks tell? Thanks for reading that story with me, friends. I want to take a look at some of the rocks that were talked about in this book. The first type of rock, remember, is called igneous. Can you say igneous? Yes, igneous, well done. So remember, igneous is when lava comes out of a volcano and it goes down the side of the mountain and it comes out and it cools down and it, and it turns hard over time. And depending on how fast it cools down is the type of rock it turns into, or if it cools down inside the earth or if it cools down outside the earth. So I wanna share a couple of examples of ign igneous rocks with you. So in the book, it talked about granite. Granite is one type of igneous rock that if it cools down inside the earth, it turns into granite. And there's a lot of granite throughout um, the United States. So here's an example of granite and a lot of kitchens, a lot of kitchens will make granite countertops. So they'll make the countertop that you can cook on and cut things on out of granite. It's a very hard stone. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the earth. And then they polish it and they make it shiny. And then it looks like that. And that's just lava that hardened and turned into an igneous rock. All right, I want to show you another example. This is one of my favorites just because I think it's super cool. This is obsidian. They talked about it in the book. And you can see that obsidian is super shiny it's black it's black and really shiny and this obsidian is lava that comes outside of the volcano and it cools down very fast so that's how you get obsidian and that's super cool rock and the third type of igneous rock that i want to share with you is pumice Let's see if you can take a look at this pumice really quickly you can even imagine just by the way this looks you can imagine that it was lava one time right? And it's really light. And this one dries really quickly too when it gets out of the earth. And um, this is pumice. It's another type of igneous rock. The second kind of rock is sedimentary rock. Can you say sedimentary? Great, sedimentary rock. Remember sedimentary rock is made of layers and layers of things that pile on top of each other over time. And then it gets heavier and heavier and it gets smashed and smashed and smashed and smashed until it becomes a rock, right? So the different layers can be sand and mud and leaves and um, shells, and it gets 
really heavy over time and it turns into rock. So I want to give you a couple examples of that. This one, well, I'll start with this one first. This one's called a conglomerate and it's, it's just polished so that you can see the different pieces. But you can literally see chunks of other rocks and things that were put into this rock in layers and they all got in there and kind of got stuck all together and then got smashed together and turned into a sedimentary rock. It's called a conglomerate. And here's another example, example of a conglomerate too. You literally can see chunks of really cool things that all got smashed together over time. That's a sedimentary rock. Now, another kind of sedimentary rock is just sandstone. So sandstone, guess what sandstone's made out of? You're right, it's made out of sand. So it's just layers of sand that got smashed so long that it turned into a rock. So you can see, I mean, literally, if you feel this, it feels like sand that's smashed together. It's like taking glue and taking sand and mixing it all together and letting it dry. It's sandstone. So here's some sandstone. I don't know if you can see all of the different little particles of the sand in the sandstone. That's another type of sedimentary rock. And then the last type, the last one I want to share with you is really cool because you can see all the different layers that um, formed this rock over millions of years. So you can see all of the different lines are a different layer of rock. Can you see all the lines and the different layers? So there might be a layer of dirt in there, there might be a layer of mud in there, there might be a layer of sand, there might be a layer of dead leaves, and over time it got smashed and smashed and smashed all those different layers and turned into a sedimentary rock. So that's a different type of sedimentary rock. Now this is super duper cool. It has all examples of igneous rock and sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock. So the third type of rock is metamorphic rock. And that one's a little bit tricky because the, in order to get metamorphic rock, you take an igneous rock and, and it's deep in the earth and it gets smashed and smashed and smashed and smashed and heated up, almost melted, so long that it turns into a completely different rock. It's like everything rearranges and turns into a different kind of rock. Isn't that weird? So that's a metamorphic rock. And so I have a couple examples of a metamorphic rock. One example of a metamorphic rock is, is marble. And another example of a metamorphic rock is shale. And so I have special thing, uh, special rocks here to be able to show you what it used to look like and what it looks like once it becomes a metamorphic rock. And we're gonna show that and zoom in that for you right now so you can take a look, okay? So here are gonna be our examples of metamorphic rock. Remember, metamorphic rock cr is created by an igneous rock or a sedimentary rock getting smashed so long that it changes into a completely different kind of rock. So the first example we have here is sandstone. Sandstone is a sedimentary rock. It's just a bunch of sand that piles up on top of each other over time turns into a rock. So we have examples of a red one and a yellow sandstone and it gets smashed so long that, that it turns into quartzite. So the purple arrow that you see is the quartzite. That's the metamorphic rock that it changes into and you can see the red variety and the yellow variety. And then also in that first arrow is the red arrow. That red arrow is the sandstone. So that sandstone, the red arrow, turns into the purple arrow, quartzite. And that's a metamorphic rock. The second type of metamorphic rock I wanna talk about is shale that turns into slate. So, shale is a sedimentary rock as well. So shale is formed just by layers of mud and dirt and grimy kind of stuff that gets all smashed together over time and turns into a sedimentary rock. That's indicated by the red arrow. It's the lighter gray, right? And you can see that it's whiter, like it's bigger. You can see the different layers, but they're big. And then over time, it gets smashed and smashed and heated and gets so heavy underneath there and so many layers that it turns into slate. And slate, you can literally see the different layers in, 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 the, in, in the slate rock that you're looking at right there. And that's the purple arrow. So slate is the purple arrow. And that's the metamorphic rock. Shale, the red arrow, turns into slate, the purple arrow. And that's another example of a metamorphic rock. The last example of a metamorphic rock that I wanna talk about is granite that turns into gneiss. 
So your red arrow is the granite. And you can see all the different minerals. The cool thing about granite is like you can see lots of different colors in it. So you can see grays and blacks and whites, and you can even see some reds and pinks and things in granite. And then it gets smashed and heated up and smashed and smashed and smashed so long and gets so hot, those little specks of color actually start, um, they move and they transform into almost like little layers. And that's how you get nice. And so it just kind of rearranges the order of what's happening in granite and it turns into gneiss, which is a metamorphic rock, and that's the purple arrow. So the red arrow is granite, that's your igneous rock that cools underneath the earth, the lava, when the lava cools underneath the earth, it's turned into granite. And then it gets smashed so long and from so many layers being above it that it turns into gneiss, that purple uh, arrow that you see there. And that's the third example of metamorphic rocks. So thanks for learning about the three types of rocks, friends, igneous, sedimentary, and wood metamorphic. And now we're going to get ready to do the project. Let's get ready for the project. The first thing that we're going to do today is we're going to make some igneous rock. Remember, igneous is magma that's down in the earth. And then when it comes above the earth, it's called lava. And when it cools either as magma or as lava, it turns into an igneous rock. So we're gonna make some igneous rock. Remember, it's super duper hot when it comes out of the earth or when it's in deep inside the earth. So here I have my ingredients that are going to make our igneous rock, okay? So I'm gonna turn on my stove and I'm gonna put in some magma. And I'm going to put in some lava, also known as honey. And put all that in there and it's going to start heating up just like it would be in the middle of the earth. And we're just going to stir it around, stirring it around, stirring it around. And this is going to be, in our mind, we're going to pretend that it's our igneous rock, right? So we're gonna get this super duper hot and get it all mixed together so it turns into a nice igneous rock. So as you can see, friends, we are making some super hot magma inside the earth or lava that comes outside the earth. And if this cools, it'll turn into an igneous rock, right? So we can turn this off the heat so it can cool down a bit, and we're gonna add one other ingredient, some vanilla. Whoa! And mix that in. You can see how hot that is. Oh man, it's like an eruption! And it's gonna start turning into an igneous rock after it cools. Now, let's go make a sedimentary rock. Okay, rock explorers, now we need to make some sedimentary rock. So follow me over here for the next step. So I have all of these different layers of sediment, all of these different things that we're gonna add to our bowl here. So we have some sand, also known as brown sugar that we're gonna add. And then we're gonna add little clumps of leaves and shells, and that is also known as oats. And then we're gonna add some minerals. Salt is a mineral, so it's actually accurate. And some cinnamon as well, another mineral. And finally, we're gonna add some pebbles. And this is our sedimentary rock, right? And we're gonna mix all this together and get it all mixed together. And if we were pretending that this was a sedimentary rock, over time, if we smash this together and smash it together and smash it together, it would get hard and it would get rock-like, right? But it's pretty fragile. It's going to break pretty easily. Usually sedimentary rocks are pretty fragile. They break pretty easily because they're made up of all of these different layers and these different chunks of things. I'm making a conglomerate, which is just a mixture of all of these different sediments all together. Okay, so now that we have our conglomerate sedimentary rock together, we're going to add some igneous rock to it. So I'm just going to pour, remember our igneous rock mixture that we made, I'm going to pour it in here super hot so I need to be careful. I'm going to pour that in here and I'm going to mix it all around. And so we have our igneous rock and we have our sedimentary rock and we're mixing it all together and we get it all wet and you can even see, see how it's kind of coming together? It's 
already kind of making our sedimentary rock forming it harder. But now I wonder what are we going to do to make the third kind of rock? Do you remember what the third kind of rock is called? We made an igneous rock. That was our lava and our hot magma. And then we made a sedimentary rock right now and we combined the two. And we're gonna have to find a way to add lots of heat to make it hot so that it changes into a metamorphic rock. And that's what we're gonna do now. So I'm going to add our mixture here right onto this cookie sheet. It's lined with foil. And on the foil, I just I um, spread a little bit of oil on it just so that this doesn't stick. And you're gonna flatten it out like it's a layer of sediment, right? Like our sedimentary rock. So we're just flattening it out. And I'm going to put it in the oven. So we're gonna put it in the oven at 300 degrees just for a little bit. And I sent the recipe to your family. So if you wanna make it, you can. And then we'll see what happens when it turns into a metamorphic rock, okay? Okay, friends, we took our igneous rock and then we made a sedimentary rock, and now we put all of that into the oven for about 30 minutes at 300 degrees, and we let it cool, and let's see what happens. It turned into a metamorphic rock. Let's see. Remember when we, before we put it into the oven, it was kind of small, it was kind of like a conglomerate, right? It was coming together, but it was kind of still a little bit fragile. But now take a look at what happened. Oh my goodness, it's a metamorphic granola rock. And if you want to break it up, you can. But all of this granola was made and it, under that heat and that pressure of that heat, it turned into a metamorphic rock. And now there's some delicious granola for you to be able to share with your family. So you'll just lift it up like this and it comes off in little chunks and little pieces like that, like a granola bar. And you can break it up like this and you can have it with yogurt or you can have it with milk or honestly, you can just eat it just like this. And it's super delicious. Don't eat rocks. Do eat metamorphic granola though, because it's delicious. Thanks for tuning in today. I think below there'll be the recipe for you to be able to click on and I also send in your email. So enjoy making your granola, metamorphic rock, and remember the three types of rock, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. And we'll see you guys soon, bye.